Welcome back. Tonight I've got with me Daryl and Adam and we're going to be talking about an upcoming game release. We've got a lot to talk about. So first of all, I just want to introduce you guys. So who are you? Uh, we're 14 Digital Arts, video game development studio based here in Roswell, Georgia in the United States. Established ourselves in 2014 and uh, getting ready to finally put out our first release here pretty soon. So uh, who else is on the team? I know you've got Adam with you. Yeah, so it's me. I'm Adam. Adam Carlin. We've got Daryl Castone, who's the CEO, founder, leader, pretty much of the project. Uh, Calvin Bowens, our primary coder, if you will. And we also have two gentlemen working with us in Brazil. Their names are Canero and Diego Sayana. And that's interesting that you've got a widespread, you know, geographically. How do you find working together as a team remotely? Uh, it's It's got its challenges, but it's pretty rewarding. I've known Diego, I'm sorry, I've known Carnero now for a little over two years. Uh, he's amazing. He is a, he's a really, really, really talented illustrator. And through him, uh, I would say within the last seven months, uh, I was introduced to Diego Sayana, who is a very talented programmer, very uh, ambitious, very talented, hardworking guy. Uh, I actually really enjoy working with our Brazil team. They've been extremely helpful. Hmm. Okay, so obviously we've got a little graphic on the screen right now. What is the name of the game? Uh, the game is called Minor Rampage. And what type of game is it? Um, it's a classic side-scrolling beat-em-up kind of arcade-style game. It's a 2D. It's going to be a mobile platform. What platforms can we expect it to be on? Uh, I would, we're going to release it on Android and iOS, so the uh, Google Play market, the Apple games market. Those are going to be our primary launches. Obviously, if it picks up Steam, we'll look into other avenues as far as computer releasing and whatnot. The artwork really caught my attention when you sent it to me. It's got an awesome piece of artwork there. I don't know. I mean, who, who, who did the artwork? Is it someone on the team or? Yeah, Carnero uh, is our main illustrator. That's an amazing uh, illustration there. I just want to say, yeah. I love the. He I is badass. He is to he is totally a badass. The original inspiration came from a piece of art that some fan did for the uh, game Earthbound. There is a character named the Extra Cranky Lady, and I saw a really cool piece of art where she was fighting some kids and smacking some other guy, and I said, "Man, I would this." This whole idea is perfect for Minor Rampage. So I showed it to him and we did a couple of quick sketches of our main character and just generally what we wanted. And, you know, I let Carnero loose like I always do. And, you know, he never fails to impress. So while we're talking about inspiration, what inspired this project, the actual game itself? I would say necessity and circumstance, if I'm being quite honest. Uh, originally, we had no desire to do mobile games, but... Um, our big flagship project, uh, The Legends of Oslifia, uh, that's a that's a big project. And we reached a point where we really needed uh, 3D artists and animators and more programmers. And we just, we needed to expand the team. But uh, there are challenges when you're indie and you're trying to expand. It's very hard to find people that are genuinely invested and, you know, hardworking and wanted as much as you do. And we went through a number of people that just didn't work out. And so we realized that we needed to raise our own capital to be able to bring Neslifia to the world. And we don't have a house remortgage or anything. And uh, we don't have some incredible, you know, savings account or anything. Mm. And really want to have to resort to going to a bank or anything. So with our own skills, the best way we were able to help ourselves was to make a smaller release. We bounced some ideas around for a while. And, you know, we came up with the idea of Minor Rampage. It was uh, heavily inspired, if you want to know what inspired the idea for the game. There's a movie called Step Brothers with John C. Riley and Will yep. Ferrell. And yeah, I love it. A scene where they fight children, and I saw that. <laughs> and I said, oh, yeah. That would make an incredible game. So I did some research to see if anyone had already, you know, put something like that on the market, and I was really shocked to see that nothing like that existed. So yeah. I said, I will be the first guy to bring that to the world, as controversial as it may be. Yeah, and, it was pretty uh, hard to believe that nobody had made that yet. Yeah, yeah. and so that's really what inspired it. Well. Other than a few meme GIFs on the internet, I suppose the only thing close in that game space is Rockstar's Bully, which is actually all about children f in schools. It's not, it's not nothing to do with adult. You don't play an adult, you know. Exactly. So that's that's really interesting, and also it's fresh that you're doing it in this 
uh, is sort of, you know, the side scroller. I mean, talking mm -hmm. about the art style, um, what sort of art style in game? Are we talking a classic or is it a particular style that you've developed yourselves? Um, so we originally were going to go with a uh, sort of a hand-drawn art style similar to the game uh, Machinarium. However, we were under some time constraints, so it is going to be pixel. We definitely are putting a lot of effort into uh, just the use of color and things like that. We do want it to be a pretty game. I've always been against making quick mobile projects that come off as effortless or uninspired, but it's definitely a classic side-scrolling beat-em-up. And like I said, 2D pixel. To, to name drop a couple games, uh, some of the classic arcades like Turtles in Time or the X-Men were some primary uh, sources of inspiration. Right. Oh, there's there's some classic games. I mean, I can remember playing them in the arcade. You know, that's the sort of game that you'd be there putting money in all night trying to play. I just played that X-Men arcade game maybe two weekends ago with Adam, who, for whatever reason, decided mid-level to walk away from the arcade machine. So uh, I consider this major bragging rights. I actually finished that level playing as both Wolverine and Nightcrawler and managed to beat the level on my own. It was quite <laughs> with both hands. difficult. Yeah, so the lesson there is, you know, don't play arcade games with Adam. I enjoyed my drink, thank you very much. <laughs> How can people contact you if they are interested in, you know, Minor Rampage? If they want to contact us, uh, again, there's the Kickstarter. Um, we can be contacted through that. Uh, we can be contacted through 14 Digital Arts, you know, our website. We're also on um, Instagram, you know, very active on that. It's not hard to find us. It's not hard to find us. So if people want to follow you, there's obviously Instagram. Have you, are you on Twitter or any other networks like that? We are on Twitter. We're on Facebook. Um, we primarily use Instagram. I think by the time we put Minor Rampage on the market, we will kind of ramp up the Facebook page. But yeah. I definitely welcome everyone to follow all of them because pretty soon we're going to be regularly using them all. And you can also reach out to us directly at our website, 14digitalarts.com. It's uh, XIV, the Roman numerals, just for anybody really? listening. We'll make sure there's links in the description for your website yeah. and various things, I'm sure. So, awesome. Well, okay, let's get into uh, you guys at uh, the studio. Whereabouts are you based? Uh, we're still based right here in Roswell, Georgia. Roswell, Georgia. Okay. You just... Uh, 30, 45 minutes uh, north of Atlanta. So obviously we're going to get those links. If you're interested in following the guys, the links are going to be in the description. Head over to those pages and give them a follow and get the latest information. We're just going to talk quickly about your Kickstarter because I know you mentioned it earlier. We'll make sure there's, is there a link that we can put in, in for people yet? Yeah, so minorrampage.com is where they will be able to go. And from there, it'll directly link them to our Kickstarter. Okay, beautiful. So we've got an address. That address, click that link, smash that button, and head over to Kickstarter. Okay, so you guys have told me that you've got a convention coming up, so you're actually going to have a booth. Uh, where, where exactly is that? Uh, so we're going. it's going to be at Anime Weekend Atlanta, Cobb County, and right outside of Georgia. I always throw this one in. You know, the temptation is always just to make a zombie shooter. So, you know, why did you make this game? Uh, well, to uh, touch on that zombie shooter thing, I'm just not an FPS guy. Never have been, probably never will be. 007 GoldenEye, you know, Metroid Prime, it's about as much sure as I get. Again, the game was made originally out of necessity. We really needed a project where we could make a splash into the industry and, you know, do a do a good job at it so that we can, you know, raise funds for this really amazing game that we really, really, really want to give to the world. I don't I don't want Minor Rampage to be this thing where it's created and it's sort of an afterthought. I really I really do enjoy this game. I've always wanted to make a mobile game. It just wasn't a focus for us as a company at the moment. And the fact that we found ourselves here is actually really interesting. I have several uh, really amazing mobile titles that I would love to get onto the market uh, by year's end, but you know, that's a conversation for another day. But okay. I'm a big fan of um, games that focus on gameplay. I feel like there's somewhat of a lacking presence uh, with that, that style of gameplay, which we you know grew up with. Mm -hmm. And in the indie market, uh, it's definitely a bigger presence and would definitely be fun to kind of be a part of that. You know, uh, there's nothing that's more exciting than a game that you pick up and it's not earth-shattering with the special effects and the content, but, 
you know, you're still very addicted yeah, to it. There is something special. Uh, yeah, yeah. For example, what some of the best mobile games I've ever played are those um, Metal Slug, Metal Slug yeah. one, two, and three. It's just like, whoa! How is this so good? One of the things that I really think we've taken from kind of shifting from RN project into something more mobile is that aspect of uh, we kind of got in the mindset of building lore behind everything and meaning behind every single thing that we created into the game. And when you transfer that over to a smaller title, I think it's those little kinds of nuances and subtleties that kind of give any kind of game the rounded wholeness. Like that, when you're playing games like Metal Slug and stuff, the fact that there's a consistent, you know, outfits for all the bad guys or their technology all look the same or it's like where are they from what are they doing that kind of aspect of of why am i playing this over and over and and to come at that view really to come at a mobile game with the view that it's a full side game it's just one that we can create on a small scale yeah it's got a short I think time that's, horizon yeah absolutely but we treat it just like any other size game you know it's got its own world it's got its own background it's got its own everything and i think that's been endlessly beneficial for us hmm. okay. but as far as why we're not making a zombie game that's 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 just our artistic integrity uh we don't want to make something that everybody else is making i don't think you're ever going to see that uh we've got a lot of things in in planning and in in the works and in the notebooks and I don't think any single one of them is ever something that's been done before to a T. Yeah, I am extremely That's something we take a lot of pride in. Yeah, I'm extremely anxious and excited to bring to life some of the things that we uh, have uh, coming for you guys. And you have no idea. Okay, so spinning back around to the Kickstarter, um, do you want to talk about pledges? Uh, what 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 have you got? What like, come on? What 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 can I get for my money? I I've got money. I, I want to give it to you. What what do I get? Well, we're trying to we're we're not really trying to build the game as much right now as as build brand awareness. Okay. And uh, we're not also we're also coming from the ground up. We want we want everybody to understand that we are working out of our houses just like most indie startups and whatnot and uh we're, we're not trying to break our own bank trying to give everybody as much swag as possible uh we want to make sure everybody feels like they're part of the part of the whole fundraising and part of the game so anybody who contributes is going to get their name in the credits uh aside from that donating two dollars or more will get your early access to the game so if it comes out if we release it at the beginning of september you'll get it then instead of uh at Anime Weekend Atlanta, which will be when we wide release it, will be in coupling with that weekend. For extra uh, tiers above that, we do have things like our digital art book and our soundtrack that we'll have. We've got a t-shirt to offer. I think the biggest focus is that five lucky people, whoever the first five that find it are, can uh, donate. I think we set the level at $200, and you'll be able to work with us to create your very own enemy character in the game. And that could be a kid and adult whoever you have the permission to use the likeness of that you want to see get smacked in the face. Uh, that's going to be really fun. We also have another idea that I think people are really going to enjoy. So at the convention, Anime Week in Atlanta, uh, which is at the end of September, uh, we're going to do a raffle in person. Um, and for two bucks, you'll get two tickets. And three days after the event, we're going to go on Instagram and do a live post where we basically pick the winner. And whoever wins, we will actually make their likeness in the game as the player character. So if you are a parent with some bratty kids, if you're a teacher with uh, some you know, bratty students, if you just don't like kids, uh, <laughs> there is a chance. If you uh, if you you know take part in this raffle and you win, we will put you in place of the main character um, as extra DLC later, of course. But of course. we'll put you in the game, and you get to see yourself um, or you know someone close to you Whoa. kicking some uh, kicking some kids' ass. What's going on a minor, <laughs> minor rampage. Yeah, I, I, you know you don't really see too many opportunities where there are con contests or whatever where uh, the winner gets to be in a game. I have. Personally, I haven't seen that done, and I'm actually really excited to be able to do that. So head down to Atlanta. So when can we play this game? Uh, again, so um, we are trying to release an early beta, go through the beginning stages, developing it, and letting people see some of the challenges and hang-ups and setbacks that happen. Um, 
but that'll be really fun to do as well. So when can we meet you guys? I know you said you're going to be at Atlanta. What are the dates? Well, right now, um, the only solid date in stone that where you can meet us is at the event. Um, it is from the 29th of September to the 1st of October. Afterwards, we're going to do a meet and greet event at a place called, called Battle and Brew here in Atlanta. It's a video game bar and cafe and restaurant. It's a really awesome place. They're great people. Um, we may be doing an event at a brewery called Gate City uh, right here in Roswell, Georgia. Um, we do plan on attending other conventions. So if you follow us on our website, uh, 14digitalarts.com, again, it's XIV, but a numeral, uh, we will always do updates as far as appearances and things like that. Okay, that was Daryl and Adam, and uh, we're talking about Minor Rampage. So I just want to thank you guys for coming in for the interview. Uh, push everyone watching this to come to the uh, website, check them out, and um, obviously hit, hit up the Kickstarter. And then when the game comes out, I can't wait to play it. Sounds like a lot of fun. Well, hey man, thanks so much for your time. We appreciate the interview and uh, the shout out. We'll push everybody we can through. No worries. Um, I hope to stay in touch with you guys and uh, wish you all the best of luck. Thank you so much, man. Okay, so you're going to find all of the links in the description. Um, like I say, hit us up in the comments and let us know what you think. And thanks for watching.